Is there an animal cute enough that it's worth traveling to the end of the earth to see? Well, Madagascar off the coast of Africa is about as remote a spot as you can find. And the only place in the world where lemurs live in the wild. They may look like stuffed animals, but there's much more than meets the eye. Here's my Nightline co-anchor, Dan Harris. I defy you to watch this video of these little varmints capering around and not immediately fall in love with them. This is the lemur. They come in more than 100 flavors, including this kind, aptly named the dancing lemur. There's also the ringtail lemur, the bamboo lemur, and the black and white lemur, which looks like a skunk crossed with a panda bear crossed with a miniature pincher. They only live in one place on Earth, the country of Madagascar, off the coast of Africa. This place and these animals are now the subject of a new IMAX movie called Island of Lemurs. Madagascar is an exceedingly difficult place to film, especially given the elaborate equipment necessary for an IMAX movie. Whoa. Uh-oh, I don't want a lemur fight on me. With no roads in much of this Texas-sized country, the director used a hot air balloon to get some shots and employed scores of locals to lug the gear around. The rest of us get lost almost instantly. Two or three steps off a pathway and you turn around and you can't find the pathway anymore. But for all the difficulties, the shots they captured, amazing. Like this lemur known as the Indri, famous for its loud cry. The Indri is really the pop star of the lemurs. It's got a complex call which evolves as the song continues. It's like air horns suddenly blasting off at you. One of the stars of the movie, aside from the actual lemurs, is this woman, Dr. Patricia Wright, an American primatologist who once spent months searching for the greater bamboo lemur thought to be extinct. One morning, there he was, feasting on crunchy young bamboo shoots. One of the things she loves about lemurs, the females are in charge. The female leads into fruit trees. The female sits where she wants to sit, leads them where she wants to lead them, and she's the boss. And what's it like having uh, an IMAX team follow you around? I thought the lemurs would be terrified. But no, they took it very well. You know, suddenly a big crane would go up and they would kind of look at it, and they didn't run away. Oh. <laughs> I can personally attest to the lemur's agreeable nature. A few years ago, I went to Madagascar myself. They always look slightly horrified. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 uh. Watch out, dude. OK. Uh, he likes my camera. <laughs> <laughs> I even got to see those dancing lemurs up close. <laughs> so this is why they call them dancing lemurs? Yes. But to see one of the most rare and adorable lemurs of all, an animal called the silky sifaka, we were told we needed to travel all the way up to the northern part of the country into a towering and dauntingly beautiful landscape that looks like a set from Jurassic Park. So what, what we're going to see now is supposed to be the most beautiful lemur in the world? They are white, like the snow. Huh. It was a long, steep, and slippery hike that involved an unfortunate number of leeches. No, those are slugs in my socks. Always pleasant first thing in the morning. Blood suckers. It's no wonder that these guys have been able to survive for so long. They are in pretty much the hardest place to reach I've ever been. Whew. Let's go. Finally, we saw them. They look like cotton balls with tails. Way up there, there are uh, two lemurs. They're quite beautiful, as promised. And they don't seem to mind at all that we're here. Actually, there are three, four. In fact, there were seven in this family. They spend their days eating, grooming, scampering, and playing. We're pretty close to them. We get very close. Yeah, you are getting very close because they are not uh, afraid of people. So there are, there are not many predators around here, so they're not, exactly. they're not scared of us. Yeah, exactly. Not many predators here, but there is real danger to all of the lemurs of Madagascar. Illegal loggers, known as the Timber Mafia, have been pillaging the forests the lemurs need to survive. How much trouble is the lemur in right now? The lemur is really in big trouble right now. There's 103 species 
and 91% of them are in danger of extinction. Uh, they're the most endangered of any mammal group. Our oldest ancestor now under threat from the most dangerous primate of all, man. Do you hope that the movie can make any difference? I think the movie's going to make a great difference because right now nobody knows what a lemur is. But I think once that movie is out there, you see how they move, you see how beautiful they are, I think everybody's going to want to save lemurs. Raising awareness so that the dance of the lemur can carry on. For Nightline, I'm Dan Harris in New York. The IMAX movie Island of Lemurs Madagascar is now in theaters.